So they will now take a turn and they'll walk forward. The flag is raised. They're walking in and they're off for the Univet Beacher Handicap Chase Grade 3. And as they go towards the first, it's Didero Vallis in the center who is right up there. Mac Totti on the inside is also prominent as they go over the first. A bad mistake by Snow Falcon, a brilliant recovery by Henry Brook, but all 21 are safely over the first. On now towards fence number two, which is the open ditch. Via Della Rosa just landed in front and down at the back of the field is El Paso Wood, El Paso Wood has unseated the rider at fence number two. All the others are safely over, although Snow Falcon is already some way behind. Over fence number three and Topville, Ben Musu on the inside now to share it with Mac Totti and also Via Della Rosa. Those are the first three. Didero Vallis is in fourth and then Snow Leopard S, the first of the greys, with Tute Permi, another grey, towards the outside of runners. Lorde Benil and Le Broyer next, followed by Chris's Dream and Kimberlite Candy as they cross the Melling Road and they now begin to make the run back towards the enclosures for the first time in the Unibet Beecher handicap chase with El Paso Wood, the only casualty so far, and already a long last is Snow Falcon having blundered badly at fence number one. Raven Hill in the yellow colours is also towards the rear of the field, so too is Hogan's height, and check it out as they now race on towards the two fences taken before the chair. And it is Via Della Rosa together with Snow Leopard S and also Topville Ben. And these are the first three. Topville Ben just landed in front over that. Lebroy made a mistake at fence number four. Raven Hill is being ridden along. The dual winner, the early on Rouge at the moment, is just worse than midfield and taken quite wide as they go over the fence, which will be the last in a circuit's time in the beacher. They're all safely over. And Topville Ben and Tommy Dowson taken on by Aidan Coleman and Snow Leopard S, the first two. Lord Menil towards the outside of Didero Vallis and then Mac Totti followed by Kimberlite Candy just ahead of that one via Dolorosa and then Tute Permi towards the outside as they go over the chair. Mac Totti is down at the chair. Chris's dream a bad mistake. Snow Falcon is unseated at the chair. So Snow Falcon unseated at the chair. Mac Totti fell and they go now towards the water jump and it's Snow Leopard S on the inside who jumps into the lead to in second place Lord de Menil. There was a bad mistake at the water by Hogan's height. So they have a circuit to go in the beacher and it's Snow Leopard S who leads the way to Dotville Ben racing in second, Achille on the inside now in a share of third Lord Aminil around the outside is in fourth Via De La Rosa racing in fifth Didero Vallis is in sixth, Kimberlite Candy is racing in seventh Hill 16 is in eighth as they go under the Grand National start, followed by Tute Permi who is in ninth tenth on the outside is Le Broy. then on the inside is Abbe Du Matin as they race away from the enclosures, next is Domaine de Ile with on the outside Kobo Lobo. After Kobo Lobo is Via Leon Rouge, who's still just worse than midfield, but ahead of Check It Out as they go over the first fence down the line of fences, taking them on towards Beecher's Brook. And it is Snow Leopard S who has got the lead, the mayor, to Topville Ben, and out wide is Lord of Anil. And these are the first three with Didero Vallis just hunting them up. A kill on the inside, a mistake there by Via Dolorosa. Also, Raven Hill hit that fence very hard. Ridden a long way from that fence was Via Leon Rouge as they go over another of the big open ditches. And it was on the inside, Snow Leopard S who just had the lead. Snow Leopard S to Topville Ben. Lord of Anil on the outside. Didero Vallis and those are the first four. Hill 16 next, followed by Achille, who's on the inside of Via Dolorosa as they got over that next plane fence. Rather slow over that was Domaine de Eel. Also, Kimberlite Candy was just nudged away from that fence. Tailing off on the inside is Hogan's height as they go over another plane one at which Topville Ben has gone. Badly hampered Via Dolorosa, who has unseated the rider. And also Via Leron Rouge has gone. He was hampered and unseated the rider as well. Three have gone at that fence as they go now towards Beecher's Brook and it is Snow Leopard S who leads them as they fly over Beecher's. Snow Leopard S to in second, Didero Vallis. Achille was over in third position. Raven Hill at the back of the field was very slow. So now they go on towards Foynaven, which is fence number 14. Snow Leopard S again jumps it well. Didero Vallis over in second. Achille was over in third. Hill 16 has stayed on now into fourth position. Chris's Dream is now in fifth. Kimberlite Candy 
is in sixth. Lord Emineel is in seventh. Check it out, is now racing in eighth place as they go over the canal and Snow Leopard S has opened up a lead of about four or five lengths as they go over the canal, tailed off Raven Hill. Also, Hogan's height is tailed off at the back of the field. Snow Leopard S, not that fluent over Valentine's, but still clear as they make the run now on towards the fifth from home. And as they do so, it's Snow Leopard S who leads another grey, Achille in second place. Didero Vallis is in third. Hill 16 is in fourth. Check it out, improving into fifth. Kimberlite Candy in sixth. Kobo Lobo now into seventh. Lord Manil is in eighth. Lebroy is in ninth. Domaine de Ile is in tenth followed next to the field by Abbé du Matin, and it is still the mare, Snow Leopardess, who has got the clear lead as she races on now, on towards what will be the third from home, the final fence before the Anchor Bridge crossing. Snow Leopardess giving Aidan Coleman a really tremendous ride around these Grand National fences. Staying on into second now is Hill 16 in the hands of Craig Nickel as they now go over the Melling Road, and it's Snow Leopardess, the mare, who is clear by about eight lengths to Hill 16 in second. Achille is in third. Didero Vallis is in fourth. Check it out is staying on from a long way back in fifth. Kimberlite Candy is in sixth. Kobo Lobo is in seventh. Domaine de Il is in eighth and the others at long, long intervals as they now make the run back towards a second from home, and Snow Leopard S is now being reeled in by Hill 16, who has got to within three lengths, and every step he takes, he gets closer and closer to the long-time leader. Now check it out, he's staying on, and has taken third place as they go over the second last. Snow Leopard S, what has she got left in the tank? Hill 16 in second, check it out in third. Achille is now in fourth, followed by Didero Vallis, and then Kobo Lobo, Domin to Eel and then Kimberlite Candy. They're over the final fence of the Unibet Beecher Chase and it's still the ghostly grey Snow Leopardess who has got the lead. Hill 16 gets to within two lengths as they race on now down towards the elbow. Snow Leopardess will have the rail to help in another 50 yards. She still leads over Hill 16 in second place. A long break back to the third who is checking out. Snow Leopardess is still there. Still leads by two lengths to in second hill 16 50 yards to go snow leopard s hill 16 on the wide outside it's a race of heads and snow leopard s has hold on to win hill 16 in second check it out in third domain de Il was fourth achille was in fifth didero valis was sixth kimberlite candy was seventh cobo lobo was in eighth tutepe me is still coming so too is hogan's heights Wait a minute.